I was 14 years old and I met him through a friend outside a children's home. He made me feel special. He made me feel like he cared for me. He was never violent. He was caring and loving. He used alcohol. We used to get drunk quite a lot and smoke cannabis, but he would never drink himself, but he would smoke cannabis. I was 14 years old. I didn't have any money. He always had money. He would buy the drink. He would buy the drugs. It was a few months down the line. There would be parties at his and there would be other men there. There would be dancing and his friends would get a bit touchy and I'd look to him to say, you know, stop it. Then he would come up to me and say, come on, if you love me, come on, make them happy. At first, I I generally didn't want to do it, but I'd get so drunk, I, I don't think I knew what was going on sometimes. And I loved him. I wanted to make him happy. I didn't regard it as abuse back then. I thought he loved me. I I originally went forward about the first case, but I got scared and I dropped out. And the police approached me again about Tilau. And because I have children of my own, I thought it was the right thing to do. It makes my skin crawl that I saw him, a picture of him when I had to, you know, do the face recognition thing. And it made me feel sick. Well, it's not your fault. And you should come forward and talk because there are people now that will do something about it. Back then, it happened a lot and nothing was done. But now, it's all going to change. I'm closer with my family more more than ever now. But I don't have a lot of friends. I don't trust anyone. I'll never be able to have a normal relationship again. I can't. I can't be with anyone. I've tried and I just can't. I'm just happy with my children now.